All right, raise your glasses and toast to National Moscato Day while you celebrate the history of this tasty white wine. It's excellent during the summer. Dennis Adamka is uh, with a bottle report and he is joining us again here in the kitchen to talk to us about this grape and this day. And yeah. good to see you again, sir. Hi, Dennis. Well, thank you for having me back. It's always fun to be always. here. Always. Oh. Well, yes, it is. It's fun for us. For you it's always back. fun to have you here with us. us. Yes. Well, so, this is a real fun wine. Moscato is, you'd be surprised when you hear this, it's 6 to 8% alcohol. Most wines are 12 to 15 percent, so you right. can drink a lot of this, and it doesn't affect you as ah, much. As much, as much. As much. It, it still gets you. It's got some alcohol in it, but it's a nice summer, easy to sip wine, mm -hmm. sitting on a back porch, relaxing, that kind of thing. Yeah. It's also good with Chinese food, um, South American food, things like that. But then I brought some cheese that so oh, we can okay. try awesome. it with. Can do that too. But where does the name come from? Well, Moscato is the name of the grape. Mm -hmm. And almost all Moscato originated in Italy. Northern Italy is where it grows. Mm -hmm. There are 200 varieties of Moscato grapes in Italy alone. I brought a wine here, though, that is grown in Indiana, and oh. which might surprise you. I don't think of Indiana as a wine country. But Moscato will grow anywhere. It's a high sugar grape. And then yeah. when they're, they're, they're making the wine, they ferment it, they stop the fermentation so there's a little residual sugar. Mm. So it tastes a little sweeter. Okay. okay. And there are many different uh, what, flavors, I guess. You've got light, you've got dry, you've got sweet. Right. The, um, the traditional is, is Asti, Moscato de Asti. That's the, the classical one. It will, if you might find it with uh, uh, a date on it, a, a year, uh, a vintage, where most of the Moscato that we drink has no vintage because they expect you to drink it right away. Mm -hmm. It doesn't hold over mm -hmm. from year to year. Now, is that a different type of grape no, because same of all the grape, flavors, or how do you change the flavors? Well, the way they did on these two is they put it, they add some juice. There's a, a cranberry, they just put some cranberry juice in, oh. and then there's a blueberry, they put some blueberry juice in. They also can change the effervescence. It's not sparkling so much ah, like a okay. champagne, but it's called, the Italians call it frizzante. It's just a little bit of fizz, and you can you'll see the difference in these. One of them has almost no fizz, but it's nice to have a little bubbles. It, it opens things up a little bit. So we why don't talking, we go ahead and try to talking Ripple here, folks? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, this is the step up from Ripple. This is a well, big step up. <laughs> okay. Let's start so, yeah, with let's these. crack these babies open. Yes, yeah. And and what's nice is a lot of these come in the twist-off bottles, Easy. which yeah. I really like. Like if you're doing a picnic or something yeah. in the yes, summer, exactly. yeah. yeah. That works so, well. Uh, which one is this here that we're looking this at? This is the traditional, the traditional um, Moscato. See that? Okay. He's tasting it like generous. <laughs> and, it's <for, laughs> and it's from Italy. This is, is grown in Italy, so okay. it's it's traditional. Okay. Um, and you can see it's got a little bubbles. It's, yeah. It's, it reminds and, us of And we the use these spine. nice uh, tall glasses, skinny tall glasses, because then you can see the bubbles better. Mm -hmm. All right. Cheers. Chin chin. Salud. Ting ting, yeah. I like to say ting ting. Oh, cheese. Yeah, this is what this is the Isn't that yeah. good? It's I've good. always liked now, Moscato. A lot of people don't like Moscato, and I mm -hmm. never did like it too much because it's a little bit sweet, but in the right occasion, it's perfect, like I said, sitting on the back porch or when you have a little yes, party, yeah. a little. It's almost like a cider. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty close bit. to that, right? Yeah. And this one is 5% alcohol. I know, I'll be very honest. When I was talking to Dennis about him coming here, say, Dennis, I'll be super honest. Moscato is not my favorite wine, because oh, I think it's too sweet. <laughs> but this one is good. Yeah, I so like you can it. drink this. Yeah, we, so, it, it, yeah, go ahead. We got used to cheap, lousy Moscato, because they used to send the bad <laughs> stuff to the mm -hmm. U.S. They figured we didn't know any better. So they sent all this horrible stuff, and people couldn't drink it. They drank it because... Well, I'm drinking wine, so yeah. it must be fancy. This is cheap. Call me Scrooge. Yeah, yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you said it pairs well with Chinese food or South American food, mm -hmm. but uh, I think it's mostly known as a dessert wine, right? Yep, yep. that's what I, I would serve it for dessert, or, mm -hmm. or like I said, maybe as a, a before dinner, uh, or sitting on the porch, just sitting, talking, relaxing. Yeah. We've got just over a minute here, but I'm did you want to crack another one of these yes. and try it? Since we have, have another one. try the blueberry? I'm super curious. While you're opening that one, uh, are there any alternatives for those who are not a big fan of Moscato? Uh, if they're not a big fan of Moscato, they're not going to want any um, sweet wines. They can do oh. Chardonnay More and they us. can do. Um, oh, here's the third yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All righty. Let's try this. Or they can do That's traditional champagne. Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay, let's see. And I'll tell you a trick. clock, everybody. Those are the dying if, if you hold it down near the bottom when you clink, it makes a better sound. You know, last time, really first time does. you were here, I broke, yes. a, well, I broke uh, a glass. Okay. That's a, that's okay. a professional hazard. Yeah, I'm surprised. It's good. 
This one is a lot drier. Too, yeah, it's it? a lot drier. So I blueberry Moscato. Think I may like I'm this one better than the. Uh, yeah. yeah. Great option for the cheap. summer. Serve, serve them all ice cold. You're right. Mm -hmm. That's the best way. And you see, there's hardly any fizz on this. There's not many bubbles. Right. Okay. This so they make it a different style. So uh, people can follow uh, what, bottlereport.com and get some more information. Yeah. Yeah. Just find out everything they want to know about wines. Right. <laughs> Celebrate National Dennis Moscato Day. All right. Happy Dennis, National Moscato Day. Thank you so yeah. much. Dennis, thank you so much. Drink up. Thanks for having me.